<clears throat> hey, what's up? This is The Trailer Project. I'm Alexander Miller, writer for Battleship Pretension and Film Inquiry, and you're back at The Trailer Project. Um, so for this entry, we're going to do something a little different, because today's film is extra special. So before streaming media, digital downloads, and all that, you had to do a little more legwork to discover new and unique movies. Either you had a cool video store, or you kept up with movie news, or you went to an art house or repertory theater. So in the mid to late 90s, my mom and I would rent some VHS tapes, and it turned out that a lot of the movies we had picked were um, kind of this thread of indies and sleeper hits from the era that are kind of overlooked nowadays. Movies like uh, Welcome to Sarajevo, Heart 8, The Laws of Gravity, Smoke Signals, and then there were some even more memorable titles such as uh, Passion Fish, the Secret of Roninish, um, Sunshine State, Men with Guns, Limbo, and today's film, Lone Star. So later on in my adult life, I was watching this documentary called The Great Directors by Angela Ismailos. And um, it's quite a good film, and it's actually streaming on Amazon Prime, so check it out if you can. It's called Great Directors. And in it, they prominently feature this one filmmaker whose cadence of insights I just thought were brilliant. Um, this turned out to be John Sayles, so... I guess that makes it all kind of come full circle. Anyway, he has this insight on writing and directing uh, film and movies and their relationship to history, and I like it so much I am going to show you the clip now. America, a thing that really interests me is that there are classes and we don't like to talk about it. As a Hollywood screenwriter, very often what I'm directed to do is, well, go in this direction but avoid that neighborhood. You know, so you have to make a big turn around some, you know, something that exists. Uh, if you ever saw the movie The Patriot with uh, Mel Gibson, if you know anything about American history, you can figure out okay, that probably went through 20, 25 drafts, that script. And I bet early on he had slaves. You know, by the time the movie comes out, there's these like volunteer black people working on his plantation and, you know, it seems pretty happy and, you know, everything like that. Um, you know, he was originally based on Francis Mary and the Swamp Fox. Well, then the history got in the way and they had to avoid that. Things that they thought the audience might not like or that weren't black and white enough tended to get taken out of the movie until what you had was beautifully photographed, very, very well made lying piece of shit in some ways if you care at all about American history. So as far as being political, I just feel like, well, geez, if it's there, I'm not going to ignore it. Just to leave it out becomes political. You know, every movie is political. So that obviously was John Sayles, director of all these great films, and it kind of came full circle to me that this guy was brilliant. Um, needless to say, all his movies are pretty formative, and I do consider him to be one of the best American directors writer-directors of all time. So, here we go. Here's the trailer for this 1996 film, Lone Star. I like to provide a brief synopsis for Lone Star, but there's actually so much going on in this movie, it would be to exceed the actual runtime of the trailer if I even tried. Um, while the film covers a plethora of subjects, from race to immigration and politics, uh, to police corruption, the machinations of law enforcement and the military complex, it's all anchored within a deeply personal story. If that sounds like an overstuffed plot, writer-director John Sayles unfurls the dense narrative in his deliberately understated way. Most importantly though, Lone Star is about the story of this country, the lineage of culture, and how it shapes our present day lives. In many ways, it's a timeless film, and given our current cultural climate, it feels all the more relevant now. Lone Star is something of an ensemble film, it's got a great cast. Led by sales regular Chris Cooper, he plays Sam Deeds, the main character, the protagonist, the sheriff. And the rest of the cast is simply wonderful. There's Elizabeth Pena, Joe Morton, Francis McDormand, and Chris Christopherson, who's especially terrific as an older corrupt sheriff. The juiciest bit of cast trivia, though, is that sales cast a young Matthew McConaughey. Prior to the McConaissance, he was just a young actor who everyone thought was hot. Now he's an older, prolific actor, and everyone still thinks he's hot, so how about that? It sucks that the trailer is so short because there's so much more ground we like to cover, and you can obviously tell Warner didn't really know how to sell this film. Regardless, Lone Star is a terrific movie, and if you were looking to get into the work of John Seals, there's really no wrong place to start. Thanks for watching, hit subscribe, like, share, show your friends, and you'll be seeing more from the trailer project. Later. And if there's anything you want to see the trailer project cover, sound off on the comment boards.